Hello guys, it's Paranormal Kitty back with another CSGO video. Today I'm going to be showing you my CSGO settings for 2022. I'll be showing you my settings such as video settings and monitor settings. Of course, these are just my opinions and settings, so you can change them however you want. I'll just be showing you mine for today. But real quick, a message from our sponsor. This video is sponsored by Skins Monkey, the new easy to use skins trading site, rated 4.9 out of 5 stars on Trustpilot. Simply to get started, click sign in to Steam in the top right of the screen and sign in with your Steam details to get started. Before you start trading, click free $5 up the top, enter code KITTY, claim bonus and get up to $5 on your first trade. From here on you can simply choose your skins, choose some of their skins, click trade items and bam you get a trade offer which you can accept and enjoy your new skins. Also if you're depositing on the site you can use code KITTY to go from a 30% bonus to a 35% bonus. Link in description, make sure to check out Skins Monkey and trade your skins today. So the first settings we have here are video. I like having my main menu background scenery around them, but you can choose any of these. I have my color mode at computer monitor, brightness 110%, aspect ratio 16 by 9. Some people prefer 4 by 3, so suit your preferences. I play it 2K because I have a 2K monitor, but I recommend going 1080p most people. Uh, I play it full screen, and I have laptop power savings disabled. For advanced video settings, I have global shadow quality set to high, model slash texture detail set to high, texture streaming enabled, effect detail high, shader detail very high, boost play contrast enabled. This one's a pretty good one, so it's easier to see players from far, and it's much easier to see. Multi-core rendering, rendering I have enabled. Multi-sampling anti-analyzing mode I have 8 times MSAA. FXAA anti-analyzing I have disabled. Texture filtering mode I have anisotropic 16x. Vertical sync I have disabled. Motion blur disabled because this one doesn't even work anymore. Triple monitor mode disabled. And uber shaders enabled. Of course, the first few you can mess around with, mattering on how good your computer is, but yeah, these are mostly a personal preference. Now going into audio settings, I have master volume at 50%, music volume in Steam overlay 10%, GeoTV caster volume 100%, audio output configuration, stereo headphones, these two are just the devices you use to listen and your mic, I think. These two devices are like for your sound. Advanced 3D audio processing, yes. Enable voice on press to use mic. VoIP volume 55%. VoIP positional, no. Play audio when in game background, no. And if you want to take a quick look at my music, you can see what percentage they are at. But this is more personal also. In game, I have game instructor messages off. I have max acceptable matchmaking ping 350, but this is more because I usually play with people from around the world. Max acceptable game traffic bandwidth unrestricted. Community notification location top right. And I definitely recommend having enable developer console enabled. For the HUD, I have only on default crosshair. My HUD scale is 0.85. HUD color is red. HUD background alpha is 0.50. Health ammo style, default. Bomb HUD position, show on the radar. Mini scoreboard position, top of screen. Mini scoreboard style, show avatars. Now on team, I have steam group, clan tag, no team tag. Display team tags in death notices, yes. Show team positions in HUD, show location and equipment. This one's very handy. Show teammate colors in competitive, show colors. Friends lobby default permissions all friends can join. Looking to play when CSGO starts? Remember last date. Now in communication I have player pings to display and play sound. Mute enemy team? No. Mute all but friends? No. Text filtering you can mess around with this in the steam settings when you click that. Hide avatar images show all. Clean player names? No. Now in spectator slash scoreboard, I have spectator, map, vote, number selection, method, use number keys. 
scoreboard mouse enabled slash end of match scoreboard toggle to secondary fire. Survivor is always on to no. Smooth spectator camera to yes. And the speed I have it at is 0 0.27. Disable caster control and user control to no. Follow grenade key to left alt. Automatic killer replay to yes. For items I have quick graffiti enabled. Switch weapon on pickup enabled. Delay sniper rifle on scope after shot to no. View model position desktop. Always show inventory to yes. Close buy menu after purchase, no. Open buy menu with use key, yes. I have buy menu starting mouse position to radial buy wheel center. Buy menu number keys to number keys buy items. Buy menu donation key to left control. And last weapon on radial weapon tap, yes. Now into the radar slash tablet, I have the, the tablet map orientation show entire map rotating. Radar centers the player to no. Radar is rotating to yes. The HUD size at 1%. Radar map zoom to 0 0.40. And toggle shape with scoreboard to yes. Now we're going into the crosshair. This stuff is all personal, very personal. Uh, you can see all my settings here. If you want, you can copy my crosshair if you like it. I have a classic static, and then I have all these here. I won't bother explaining this because this is all very personal. But for my crosshair settings, I have T-Style at no, Deployed Weapon Gap at no, Show Play Crosshairs at everyone, and Show My Crosshair When Spectating Bots at Always. Now for my keyboard and mouse settings, I have Reverse Mouse Off, Duck Mode Hold, walk mode hold mouse sensitivity is 2.50 and my zoom sensitivity is one percent raw input is on and mouse acceleration is off now i'll scroll through my keybinds because this isn't something really worth covering but if you see anything you'd like to change that i have changed then you can use it if you want but these are all my keybinds And I believe I've covered most settings, so hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below what you thought in the video. If you'd like to change any of the settings I've made in the video, then make sure to comment it below. That's about it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.